Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, we're unboxing a new release. New release Switch Pro Wireless Controller Legend of Zelda. So yes, this is the uh, design from Ocarina of Time, but this came out just uh, a few days ago. I picked it up because I wanted to get it. I added it to my controller collection, but mainly because it's Legend of Zelda and I have all the Legend of Zelda controllers. I think I'm missing just one. And I hopefully want to get that uh, Tears of the Kingdom Switch Pro by Nintendo. But this one just came out. It says regular Legend of Zelda. It doesn't say Tears of the Kingdom. But this is the Power A uh, recent release. So I had to pick it up. It is compatible with uh, the standard Switch, Switch OLED, and Switch Lite. We are going to test it with the new Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. But as you can see... It's your standard power a so we're going to open it we're going to take a look at the design see how it feels connect it with the control uh, with the console and just see how cool this bad boy is legend of zelda knife legend of zelda controller ah uh, pokemon placement <laughs> But we're going to open this up. It says AA batteries included, so this does does not have a built-in wireless rechargeable battery like a lot of uh, controllers nowadays do. But with that being said, it makes it a little less expensive. This is going to be $44.99. A little more than I wanted to pay for it. I think these controllers should be around no more than $39, but hey, that's pricing these days. Mappable uh, buttons in the back, which I always hate. Not a big fan of those. Sometimes they're good. Now... One thing I like the fact that it says motion controls not supported. People ask, oh, does it have motion? No, right there. None, zero, zilch. Is wireless. So if we look on the back, ergonomic design uh, includes two AA batteries. Controller does not include motion controls. May not function for titles that require motion control. Now, it does say that because there are points in time in... Breath of the Wild when you're in certain uh, shrines where you have to use the motion controls, whether it be in the Joy-Con or in the Pro Controller, you have to. Wireless connectivity. Now, one thing I don't see anywhere on the box is if it says it has rumble. So I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't say it, it doesn't have any uh, NFC connectivity for Amiibo because none of these do. So we're going to open it up. Once we connect it, it usually tells you right away because the controller rumbles uh, when it's connected. So we're going to see if it has any rumble. So be very careful. Open these. And for those of you who are wondering, it was brought up to my attention. Maybe I do have a controller addiction. I love new controllers, I love controller designs, I love the feels, I love the colors, I just like new controllers. But, I don't keep all of them. So, if you ever ask a question about certain controllers and I don't respond, it's because I probably do not have them anymore. I either sell them or sometimes, yep, I return them. But this, I will not. So, that is the design. Now, if you look in the box, AA batteries down in the bottom. And some people still complain about AA batteries. I do not because it makes controllers cheaper. If your controller dies, you don't have to throw it out and get a new one. You don't have to worry about the pain of replacing batteries, uh, taking apart your controller and whatnot. So, standard. These are going to be on all of them. They're programmable. You hit the program button. You do its thing. Hit the face button hit that boom you're good to go i've covered this a million times in a million different of these unboxing videos it's very very simple it's all the same on all of the power a sorry batteries are fighting me power a controllers ex exactly the same so i'm not going to cover it again i really don't like that functionality i don't like these buttons I don't like that clacky sound, but here we go. Here is the OLED. Put it there. So let's go up a little to avoid. So 
here you go you do have the sync button on the top like normal we go controllers uh, change order now you're gonna hit that should light up we don't have any lights interesting I do not have any lights I'm pretty sure I put the batteries in correctly it looks like I put them in correctly. Are they not in? Oh, there we go. There we go. One of the batteries was not in all the way. So, there we go. As it lights up, hit it, and sinks just like normal. Now, bad news. There was no rumble. So, when you link these controllers to your Switch, for those of you who know, there's going to be a little bzzzt to tell you. There's no rumble in there. It feels like there's actuators, but we'll we'll find out. I'm going to jump into a game. I don't have Legend of Zelda on here. <laughs> you would think I would, but no, I recently just got this. If you guys seen, I've done a unboxing for it, but I haven't downloaded or switched any of my uh, content from my previous Switch to this one. So I, I'm still running my regular Switch. Because I just don't feel like uninstalling and reinstalling and all kinds of other stuff like that. One of my go-to games, Ninja Turtles. So we'll continue here. Of course it's going to be Wrath. And yes, I've beaten the game with Wrath. Red Bandana Gaming, of course. So the controller's nice, just like all the others. It has a nice texture. Some of the other ones I don't, I have don't have the the different texture on the back. There's a smooth texture here, and a more grippy texture there, but light grippy. Yeah, there, there, there's no no rumble, zero zilch. So if you're looking for a controller with rumble, this ain't it. All right, so if we hit that, the light comes on. I've hit the program button. We're going to hit that and then hit the trigger button in the back here. That's what I just did. So let's go over that again. You hit this, hold that, this button, the, sorry, this light will flash. You hit whatever button you want to assign to it. It'll flash faster and then you tap one of these and then that's how you do it and as you can see I now have a loud clacky button tapping for the back so I know I said I wasn't gonna do it but whatever <laughs> I just find it rather annoying on these controllers because I do not like these i don't i don't like them on any of the power a's i don't like the way they sound it's very annoying i think it should be a softer uh press because it's distracting to say the least now one thing i do like that the d-pad and the buttons are the color of the body of the controller and not like a uh, a metallic some of the ones that i have I forgot which one it was, but it has a metallic D-pad, the previous version of uh, the Legend of Zelda controllers. And I th there was another one. I don't quite remember. But I think it might have been my Metroid one. Yeah, my Metroid one. I can see it here. Have metallic D-pads. And I, I'm not a big fan of those. I like the, the, the standard textured ones. But it does have, uh, with the light hitting it, you could probably see the texture where this is smooth. This is textured. It's not a bad controller. 44, you get the Zelda themes, you get to wireless, you don't have NFC, uh, you don't have motion controls, and you don't have rumble. But you get the Legend of Zelda design. Good feeling. You get programmability for the back bumpers, and uh, a, a solid controller all in all. 44... You're paying for the license of The Legend of Zelda. <sighs> there are other third-party controllers out there, which will give you more features for less money. So remember to shop around. 
I do like these because the quality is better. A lot of people have complained saying that they've gotten stick drift. I have not. I've never had stick drift in any of my Power A or PDP controllers, the two big third party uh, controller companies out there. I have not had any problems with those. So, yeah, take it as you will. Take it with a grain of salt. It's up to you. Have you had any problems? You know, it is what it is. Some people do, some people don't. I can honestly say I never have. I do like these controllers. They are good built. Um, they do last a while. I do like the fact that they have AA batteries instead of rechargeable batteries, so you don't have to worry about it, just like Xbox controllers. You don't have to worry about the, the controller dying like your Switch Pro or your PS4 slash PS5 controllers. Um, they become a pain. And these also look really nice on a shelf, whether or not you want to collect them or not. You know, as you can see, I'm a big Zelda guy. And I can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom, so that's why I'm covering this. But, again, thank you guys so much uh, for watching this. Hope you found this informative and help whether or not uh, you want to buy this Legend of Zelda controller for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, turn that bell on for notifications so you always know when new uh, uh, content comes out from me and new episodes of Ready to Start podcast. Thank you guys so much, and like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.